Welcome back guys to my channel again it's been a minute well I've been trying um, different things out some of them are working some of them are not really working but we keep on hustling whatever the results that we get we don't stop we push when we make problems we take them as challenges so today I just want to touch in uh, the perspective of two different characters that most of us go through when we have money and when we do not have money. So sometimes when we have money, we tend to sort of like buy expensive stuff. And when it compared to when we do not really have money. So I'll talk on the perspective of plants like fruits. So um, then there are these shops that they actually buy the same kind of fruit. Listen, my friend, an apple, if you know vitamin C or vitamin D, it will actually give you vitamin C, regardless which you think I Yes, I do um, uh, consider the quality of the products that you buy. But sometimes what we buy, we sort of like buy a brand. So you have to identify yourself that, okay, mind you, am I buying the product or am I buying the brand? Um, shout out to, the, to these businesses that I've built these huge brands that whenever we think of buying like simple things, we choose them over like people who are just selling on the street while they are selling more or less the same thing. But on the street, we can get it like cheaper than when we're getting it um, in these big shops. But anyway, let's let's dive deep into this. So I tend to buy the same thing that is expensive when I have money because I can afford it. And sometimes I change shops. I choose to go and buy a certain thing in a certain shop because it is seen as if something that comes from there, it's a greater quality than the other. But that's just the perception that I'm telling myself that, hey, actually the shop is good. I do not have the results that X and Y and Z has proven to me personally that this product that they are selling here, they like better than any. Like, um, I also want to touch the fact that during COVID-19, uh, specifically here in South Africa, the first people to be removed from uh, selling or to be like to the, the first people who were stopped selling were people that were street vendors that are selling on the street and they were the last one um, uh, to be called to come back to open their businesses of which most of the people that are selling or street vendors that are selling are on the street Abu Mama Beitu that have raised us and they've paid our fees and some of us we went to varsities we can be seen in YouTube through their hard work that they did but when we are up here or we, when we can afford to buy stuff that are more expensive than what they are selling we don't buy to them because buying to them for sure you know that she's not or he or she's not there just for to sit uh, for for nothing. Probably there's something that is driving that person to in order to, to be there. What I feel, I feel that we can make a difference into certain products that we can sort of like buy to support our local people, our own people, because that money goes a long way. Because it goes a long way is because it puts somebody back to school. It puts somebody to varsity. It supports somebody out there who is I am especially I, I am I am doing this video specifically because um, it's, it's, it's that, that that time of the year again where people are going back to school and the, most of our parents they don't know what to what to do what to take they don't know where to take the money to put us to varsity or to register probably some of us we've never even applied and it happens that we passed by flying colors or we have to restart our metric and re re redo it again. Obviously, there was COVID-19 uh, last year, so it was really a hard year. But 
I am just putting this out there for each and every everyone out there where you are that realize that it's either you're buying a brand or are you buying a brand or are you buying the actual products that is being sold and you look where you put your money and what um which agenda is that does it support or should i say you should know where you put your money on where this money is going to be used kind of like should have an idea i'm not really saying that okay uh, specifically, you should 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 know, but you should have an idea that um, if I'm buying these fruits here, probably it's going to make a huge difference than to buy um, in, in, into this shop. I'm not saying we shouldn't buy in in any kind of shop. Everybody is free to buy wherever they like, but let's put a cause on top of that. Let's put a let's put a cause that I'm buying because there might be a probability that. Um, this money can be put into a good cause. I saw a post um, on social media uh, showing some people working for one of the big companies um, where they were selling their own product on the street. And what was written there is not my words. What was written there, it, it, it truly touched my heart that we rather let the big companies to hire us to go back to the street where we were raised or where we stay to sell their own products rather than us having to develop our own products and go to the street and sell what we've developed. I think it's, it's not a, the matter of what you have or what you don't have. It's a matter of what you think or the what you don't have, how do you figure it out in order to get it? And when you have it, how do you use it either to inspire somebody else or either to help somebody else to have what they don't have you know but anyway it's it's just a message it's just a personal message from me that i'm pushing out there that we need to kind of like have that one one personality when we have money we just have that standard that okay x and y and z this is how i do things when i have money and this is still how i do things when i do not have money Thank you guys for listening to me. I hope this will make change um, now and then in, you, in your life. Please remember to subscribe and share and like and comment.